And welcome back. Ryan joining us from Creative Closets now. And um, we are talking about the, uh, you know, I feel like everybody's just like inside so much. We're looking at, you know, how much space we have, how much space we don't have. And so um, what are some of the things that um, you're seeing right now when people are asking, um, you know, for an upgrade to their closet? Well, this time of the year with everybody being inside, like you said, uh, everybody gets to see the clutter. You get done with Christmas, you got all those extra gifts you got to put somewhere. Mm -hmm. People realize they have nowhere to put them. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they call somebody like me and we come over, we take a look at their closet. We try whatever we can to get them a maximized space mm. for what they have. Traditional closets back in the 60s and 70s was just one rod and one shelf above it not mm -hmm. much space to do. Nowadays, we can take a closet like that and literally double the space that you normally had and you can put more things in that closet. Mm -hmm. So is it all about just like giving more space in the closet or is it more about like minimizing what you own now? It's kind of a little bit of, of both actually. Oh, okay. uh, it's kind yeah. of one of those where you need to go through your things and kind of get rid of what you don't use. Yeah. Um, but also maximizing the usable space in a closet. What I mean by usable space is there's always space but not all the time it's usable. Mm -hmm. So if you do a walk-in closet where you have corners, that space ends up not being used very uh, appropriately because of the way the closet was designed originally. Yeah. So we can come in and take a look at that space and uh -huh. maybe help out by changing the orientation of the closet, putting clothes in a certain place, putting shelves for other clothes somewhere mm -hmm. else uh, to really maximize the space of that closet. Yeah, and I feel like it's, um, there's, there's a lot of uh, like things, or, I guess, are there, are there things that people do um, that they unknowingly are minimizing the amount of space in their closets? Well, if, if they're just hanging clothes on one rod, that definitely does it right there. Um, mm. you, you typically want to try and um, fold your clothes on top of that, mm -hmm. hanging clothes on the bottom, and then being able to hang the right clothes so that you can have storage space under there as well. Mm -hmm. um, and we're not just talking about closets for clothes either. I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking about pantries, uh, mud rooms, garage storage, any kind of space like that. Yeah, and you know, you sent in some photos as well, just of um, some of the uh, some of the before and afters, and even oh, right wow. there, yeah, that transforms it completely. There's so much space there, and that's one of the things I was talking about. Where utilizing the space is when you have windows oh, in these nice. new master walk-in closets, being able to use that space underneath mm -hmm. uh, the window really helps in maximizing uh, the way you can use it all. And look how you use the corner in that one too. You make the shelf spaces right there, so it can be usable like yep. you were talking about. It's more usable space, exactly. And that's crazy to think about that, just even with the traditional, um, the way that, you know, traditionally we would think about closets. Um, it's just like, oh, like all you really need is just, you know, one one bar and, yep. that's, and that's what you need. But, you know, in this day and age, it's like you, there's different outfits for different, for for so many different occasions. Yes. Well, nowadays, the, the long hang bar, which is what we traditionally call it, mm -hmm. uh, you might only have two feet in an entire house and everything else is a double hang, shelves, built-in yeah. drawers. Even in a front entry closet, very rarely do we just do one rod all the way across. Oh. We typically do half of the closet as one. Yeah. And then the other half we do as maybe a low hang with shelves above it. Because typically a lot of people don't wear long coats anymore. Right. Yeah. They're all short coats. So yeah. why uh, not be able to use that space by bringing the coats down closer and then making shelves above it? So that is, it's, it's, that's fascinating. That's, <laughs> I mean, it makes, it makes complete sense. So uh, how can people uh, get in touch with you about oh. potentially doing this in their own homes? Oh, yeah, they can call me. Uh, I'm Ryan, 507-380-1264. I have a website, creativeclosetsofminnesota.com, uh, or you can find me on Facebook as well. All right, well, thank you so much, Ryan. Thanks, Thanks for having me. We will wrap things up after the break. Stay with us.